Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you have a great day. In one of my previous videos I've showed you a way to compare two arrays and get the non-common items. These were very simple one-dimensional arrays and some of you have asked me if that is also possible with arrays that contain objects. The answer is that there is no official way but I can show you a workaround that should work in 90% of the use cases. Let's get started. I've prepared two SharePoint lists company car list A and company car list B, my sports equipment company, and I want to compare these two for differences. Spoiler alert, the first three entries in the list B are exactly the same as in list A, but the next three have a different mileage in the kilometers column, and the last entry from list A is not even in list B. I will now switch to Power Ultimate to build a flow to compare these two lists. I will create a new flow from scratch uh, and Microsoft tries to use the new designer, but in my opinion, it's still a very buggy. So I will switch back to the old designer. To compare my two SharePoint lists, I will need to get all the items first. I will click on new step and then select standard, expand the list and select SharePoint and then select get items. As a site address, I will select my sports equipment company and select the list company car list A. Then I open all the advanced parameters and in the field top count, I will enter 5000. I know it says that the default is all, but the truth is that it will only give you the top 100 entries. At the end, I'm renaming this action to get items car list A. Now I'm copying this action and paste it, and then I only have to change the list name and the name of the action and can proceed. The next step starts with the workaround that I mentioned earlier. I'll add a new step and choose build in and then data operation and from there select. In the from field, I'll choose the value of the car list A. And now comes the tricky part. In the map section, I will choose the properties of the objects I want to compare. As the SharePoint items come with a lot more properties like the modified date or the internal ID that I don't even want to possibly compare. I'm choosing the license plate, brand, kilometers, model and engine ID to create a new array with a simplified object. Let's rename this. I'll copy this action and switch the value to car list B. It's very important that the map fields contain the exact same properties, otherwise it will not work. Now I have two arrays where I carefully selected the properties to compare and don't have to worry about other SharePoint values that could interfere. To get the non-common items of these two arrays, I will use the filter action. I choose again build in, then data operation, and then filter array. In the from field, I put in the output of select car list A, and in the first comparison field, the output of select car list B. The operator is does not contain and in the last field, I'll use the expression item. Let's rename this. Now I know where a difference in list A compared to list B. If I want to know it the other way around, then I just have to switch the outputs like this.
let's make a test run. Let's go to test, click on manually and test. Here we go and continue and run flow. And it's already done. Let's look at the first filter. In the first output of the filter, I can see that the last four entries that I've mentioned earlier that are different from list B. And in the second filter, I can only see three entries because the fourth doesn't exist in list B. So it's very crucial to know what you're exactly comparing. If I want to know all the different entries from both arrays, then I have to make some extra steps. Let's go back to edit. I'll copy the filter action again, and in the from field, I will use the union expression to combine both select arrays. That will automatically combine the entries that are the same. In the comparison fields, I'll have to click on edit in advanced mode and modify the filter query. I'll post the filter query in the description so you can copy it. Basically, it says that it outputs only the current item of the unionized array if it is not in the list A or list B. Let's make a test again. In this output of the filter, I can now see seven entries in total. That's because it lists up all the different entries compared to both lists. If I look closely, I can see why. Let's take the first object, this license plate. If I look closely, then I can see that the kilometers are different there. Must have been probably a typo somewhere. And also if I compare the second object, here both, but the kilometers are different. And of course, here, this one, that also shows up because it's just in list A, but not in list B. And that is how you can compare arrays of objects in Power Automate. I hope you found this useful and that I could help you. I'm happy about every like and subscribe. And of course, I wish you a great day.